Yo, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are doing Takamoto Days chapters 179 and 180 both together. I got a little bit busy last week, so I couldn't cover chapter 179, but here I am. So, you know, uh, let's get into it. So, the chapter starts off 179 with Sakamoto and Torres talking. And Torres is like, bro, like, I don't even like being an assassin. And Sakamoto asks, okay, so why are you doing this? And Torres says he just wants to make money to gamble. And fair enough, to be honest, you know, if that's what you like. He kind of reminds me of Hakari from Jutsu Kaisen, if you guys read that manga. And, uh, you know, just the gambling situation and all that. And Sakamoto says, you know what? My wife says gambling is for idiots, or gamblers are idiots. And then Torres says, listen, only losers are. And then Sakamoto says, bro, then you're an idiot, you know? And then Torres is like, no, no, no. I'm going to make money and I'll, and I'll become a winner and stuff like that. And then Sakamoto says, you know what? Screw all that talking. Let's get this action going. He kicks Torres and Torres just blocks him he's like yo I told you right you're not worth the bounty yet stop trying to attack me just leave me alone and then right after Sakamoto gets blasted away he's like wait what the hell is going on and then we see Torres with these freaking sand blasters that he's using and he starts using them and it's funny that Torres calls Sakamoto a cash cow I find that to be really interesting Sakamoto tries to attack him with like a little stop sign thing he throws it at him and Taurus, of course, just destroys that so quickly with his hand. His sand blasters are broken. This, this shit's out here destroying cement. So, like, it, it's crazy. So then their fight continues. Taurus kicks Sakamoto into the bus. And then right after, Taurus goes and he slices the bus in half because he's shooting his sand blasters. Sakamoto saves a little kid that was falling. And I found that to be really cool because, uh, you know, it, Taurus doesn't care if people die. And Sakamoto, obviously, because of, like, Aoi, his wife, and stuff like that. He's a change man. So he's, he he goes and he saves the kid. And then Torres continues attacking. And basically right there and then Sakamoto gets attacked one more time because he's trying to hang off. And Torres gets rid of like the little thing that he's hanging on. And then he blasts Sakamoto right away. Sakamoto grabs him and then he smashes him on the car. And then Sakamoto gets away. So Sakamoto realizes that he lost. Which you guys, if you think about it, that's actually so crazy. Because we know Sakamoto is really, really strong. And Torres just just like he cooked him kind of if you think about it he didn't really like it's not like sakamoto's like crazy hurt sakamoto could probably still fight but sakamoto knows where that fight would go so that is wild to me because this just goes to show the difference between sakamoto and the members of the order and you know how much stronger they are now because we know that sakamoto has fought members of the order before but these guys are stronger. I want to see one fight that I do expect to see happening. I don't know if I talked about it in the last video. But I do see Shishiba and Nagumo fighting. I feel like that would be pretty cool. Anywho, you guys. Chapter 180 starts off with Kendaka training Shin and Heisuke. And then when they're trying to attack him, they can't. And he basically cooks them because he's so much faster. And Heisuke tries to shoot him. Kendaka appears behind him and just kicks him. And then he tells him, yo, listen, you can't. You, you guys are, are not like you guys are at your limit you guys can't beat me and then shin says yo let's let's try one more time Hidaka says yo listen you guys are at your physical limit and then i find something uh to be very very interesting Kendaka tells shin yo listen you're trying too hard to be like sakamoto but you're not built he literally he says you're literally not built like sakamoto bro because he does say that physical traits like mass and size are just something that you're born with you know and shin obviously it he says that he isn't and he tells them you should be training your ESP to get stronger with what you have. And I find that to be so, so cool, you guys, because Kendaka, like, you know, we know Shin looks up to Sakamoto so much and he tries to be like him. And Kendaka says, you know what? You shouldn't try to be like somebody else. Just try to be a better version of yourself and try to improve yourself. And your only competition is yourself in a way. That's what he tells uh, Shin. And then Shin says, yo, listen, you know, I can't really, like, how do I, how do I learn to get stronger with it <clears throat> and he doesn't like he doesn't know who could help him and stuff like that and then kendaka says yo you know what i might know somebody that would fit like this description that could help you and then i don't know of course nagumo shows up he's like yo ha 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 you know all that stuff nagumo by the way you guys i don't know if i said it before he reminds me so much of Daze from uh bungo stray dogs they're literally the same person i swear where they're so happy go lucky but then deep down inside they're just way more than what they show on the surface so then Nagumo is like, wait, you're talking about uh, the Jaws fortune teller? And he's like, yeah. And then we find out that the Jaws uh, fortune teller 
their accuracy is 100%, which is crazy. And they, we also find out that 80% of jobs, important decisions go through them. But then we find out that this person is in jail, right? So they, <laughs> they can't, so Shin and Heisuke can't just go and meet with them. Uh, so they have to end up in the Jaws jail, which I find to be so funny. These guys are assassins doing illegal work, but they have their own jail. That's so funny. So Shin goes, Shin and Heisuke for some reason go and turn themselves in and Hisuke, it's so funny because Hisuke wasn't even there with Sakamoto. Uh, Shin was like at the museum and Hisuke, Hisuke just goes anyway. So they get locked up and they get, you know, they get sent to jail and then they get a 10 year imprisonment. That's so crazy. And then we see Lou. I'm so happy to see Lou, you guys. One thing I'll say is my girl needs to get a training arc so she could get active. I, this is so unfair. We got triad Lou. And then she got sidelined. I don't like that at all. I wanted her to become stronger with Shin and them. I understand she wants to work a 9 to 5. But at the same time, I would love for her to get stronger as well. I don't think we will see too much of her. Maybe we'll see a little bit of 1-2 where she's trying to go. And like maybe Sakamoto's wife and daughter get uh, attacked and Lou ends up saving them. But I really wanted to see her pop off. Imagine how cool it would be if Lou got like a bunch of training guards. She got super duper strong. And then, like, towards the end, she would actually fight someone like Osaragi. I feel like Osaragi versus, like, top-tier Lu would be so cool. Imagine Triad Lu at her best, like, obviously through multiple trainings versus Osaragi. You guys, that's a dream matchup for me. Because if you guys know me, you guys know Osaragi is my favorite character in Takamoto days. I love her so much. She's my favorite. And I like Lu a lot, too. I feel like that fight would be one for the books. Of course, I don't want either of them to die. But, hey, that's a fight that I, I would want to see that fight for a little bit, at least, you know and <clears throat> so she comes here and she's like oh you guys are such idiots why would you guys do that and then, <laughs> and one thing i find so funny she t she's like oh this is gonna be a blemish on the sakamoto store's reputation uh, it's so funny to me lose like i'm glad lose taking this seriously and then shin tells her you listen we're not here just to fool around we're here to meet like the fortune teller and nagumo we go we get a little flashback where nagumo is explaining why the fortune teller is in jail and apparently they got a bunch of uh, X is active or well uh, Uzuki and his organization's activities wrong recently or bad calls I guess and something tells me that that's on purpose I wonder who this fortune teller is I'm sure they're probably in cahoots with Uzuki because I don't think they're just randomly gonna start making bad calls about X's activities and such especially when they're involved with the you know assassin association and so then we end up going to the prison and I'm sure we'll get some cool fights. Um, we do also get to uh, told that there are a bunch of violent assassins there. So of course we're going to get to see Shin fight. One person that I'm worried about is Heisuke because we know that he is a sniper. He doesn't fight hand to hand, but maybe he'll get some training for some hand to hand combats too. So Shin's training arc is coming. You guys I expect at least the next maybe chapter or two to be about this prison. It'll be cool if you get to explore, explore it a little bit. Maybe we'll see some ex-assassins here that maybe Sakamoto knew from before. I wonder how Shin and Heisuke are uh, planning to break out of here. Another interesting thing is Sakamoto doesn't know that these guys just went ahead and got themselves locked up. So that that is something too. I wonder how Sakamoto is going to react. Uh, maybe Nagumo will do something and break them up because we know Nagumo is a master of disguise. Maybe he'll go and disguise himself as one of the one of the guards. And come in and take them out maybe who knows and uh, i expect to be able to i expect them to get a good training arc nagamo does say that he doesn't like plan on telling sakamoto which uh i'm sure sakamoto is going to be very very upset when he finds out but this training arc is going to be good again you guys one thing i'll say is i really hope lou gets a training arc my girl needs a training arc she needs to start cooking and she needs to start cooking now i i i want to see lou just get active i understand she's She's working and if that's what she wants is cool but i would love to see her get in the field and actually start fighting as well i hope we get there at one point maybe they realize that they need some more manpower and lose like you know what it's time for me to pick, uh, you know get back in the trenches cracks her knuckles and then she starts training i feel like that'd be pretty cool and i hope so anyways triad lou you guys can't tell me triad lou wasn't one of the coolest people i had a blast reading that one chapter where she like took in too much alcohol and then she oh she became the coolest character you guys oh my god the author knew not to keep her around because literally it would not be fair 
but you guys the, i'm excited for next chapter i wonder where, where we're gonna go with this and what we're gonna do but if you guys enjoyed consider leaving a like commenting if you're new here you guys consider subscribing it would mean the world to me and i would really appreciate it let me know your thoughts on this chapter your predictions what do you guys expect from later chapters and what you guys think will happen uh, i'm excited this training arc is good and of course they need it to be able to fight the members of the order as well as uzuki's people because they're about, about just as strong as the assassins of the order so i'm excited for this you guys i am i'm really really excited anyways as always you guys I'll catch you guys in the next one.